Yo, what's up everyone? We are back with another J-List Snack DX Box unboxing video. So I'm really excited about this one. You guys know that we do this monthly on the channel where I show you guys these snacks that J-List sends over per month for you guys to go and check out for yourself. As you guys know, this is going to be May's box as I get these boxes a little early. Um, this is just to review to you guys and also so you guys can pick up one yourself if you like what's inside the box. But not just that, so this is not just going to be a May Snack DX box. We've got another box, okay, from J-List. I'm really excited about this one because this one is a Pokemon themed box. I'm really, really excited about opening that box up for you guys and I'll be around the end of the video. So we're gonna do the Snack DX box first, then we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with the Pokemon box. So they sent over two boxes, really excited to, to showcase these to you guys. And again, if you guys want yourself a Pokemon special themed for May or the May Snack DX box, the links will be all in the description. Make sure you guys go grab one while you can before it's all gone and all that kind of stuff. So let's get right into our unboxing. All right, so the first thing that is pulled right out of the box and Pocky, who doesn't love Pocky, okay? This is going to be the Glico Kumamon Ra- uh, What is this? Pocky Milk Coffee. Okay, so that's a uh, milk coffee. So when I tasted this out, I, I actually tasted this without even reading the the uh, the, pa the, 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 the paper here. Um, it didn't really taste, I mean, it, it, it somewhat tasted like coffee, but it was more, more on the milk side of it. Uh, I, I couldn't taste the coffee in all honesty, but it was really good. I like this a lot. Um, most Pocky flavors I like are like, like strawberries and stuff like that. Like the, like the fruit, fruit, more fruit kind. Um, but this was, wasn't bad. I actually really like this one. So it was tough to taste the coffee though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but overall really good stuff. Even if it doesn't taste like it, it actually is really good. So definitely check it out. If you haven't had a Pocky in your life, like you're missing out though. Come on, go get yourself a Pocky. All right, next up we have the Oreo, pretty sure this is the Oreo Crispy Teramis Chocolate. Didn't expect this one, okay? Looked at the box, I was like, this is literally a freaking box of Oreos. And there you guys can see there's uh, wrappers and all that kind of stuff, and it comes into this. It's got like eight of these, uh, and there's all the, uh, the candies and stuff. Really good stuff, I love this. If you guys have not had Oreos, like come on, you had to add an Oreo in your life. Um, this one's really, really sweet. It might be because of the mix that they did with this. It's some sort of chocolatey, uh, like chocolate chocolate or something. But it's not really like chocolate. It's like there's like some spice in between it. So really good stuff. It also says on the box, Oreo 30th birthday in Japan. That's actually really cool. I don't know if that happened recently or is just this the box that says it. Um, but overall, that's really cool. You guys can see that they can make Oreos as well really well. So, very good, I like this Teramis chocolate, and uh, yeah, I like this just as much as Pocky. All right, so I'm gonna take a guess as to what this is on the sheet here. I'm gonna guess this is the Yao King Mugi Pan Milk Cacao flavor. So, this is what this is, it's like a milk and coffee taste, and if you guys can see in the inside, it's like really small chunks, and this is honestly something that you could probably use in making cereal or something. This seems like something that would be with cereal. So like, you know, get some milk, pour in this. I'm actually gonna might try that too. And uh, it's really cool. So it's really good as well. It is definitely like a milk coffee taste. Um, really good stuff. It definitely belongs in some cereal. So uh, very good stuff. And uh, I like this one a lot. So really, really cool. All right, so here we have a Mori Naga Sparkling Ramun. I believe that is the one. Yeah, it says it right on here. So, really good stuff. This is what it looks like. This is the size of this thing. And uh, I thought it was going to be really sour. Like, looking at the thing, I thought, okay, this might be a little sour. But no, it's it's got that it's got that drink of the Ramun taste. Like, there's also uh, drinks that come out with Ramun and all that kind of stuff. Um... I'll actually have an unboxing of another thing soon, uh, which is actually the, the drink of it. Um, but this is actually very good stuff. It's more for fruit. It's really refreshing. That's one thing about this one. It's orange. It's got some lemon. I think there's some lemon in this one. Uh, it's got a mixture of a few. Um, really good stuff. It's really, really refreshing, though. It's really good to, like, taste this and, like, you can see, like, it's like some, it's just something, like, hit your mouth with, with love. Literally. It's, 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 it's amazing. Hmm. 
so refreshing, so refreshing, so strong, so really good stuff. All right, so again, I'm gonna take a guess at these, but again, like, I'm just gonna go by the taste. Uh, this is going to be the Ginbis Kirito uh, corn. Really good stuff. Here's what it looks like. You open this bad boy up. This, you guys have probably seen designs like this in stores. Um, like, it's, it's basically, it's very crunchy. Um, I'm trying to think of what else had this. Um, if you guys have ever had trail mix and it comes out with these uh, bread shaped things, that's what it tastes like. But then it's also got the, the, uh, the corn with it. So it's the corn flavor. So if you can imagine that, it's actually really good stuff. So, hmm. Very crunchy. It's really good though. So definitely a good one. All right. So went to taste this out and I could immediately know and taste what it was. And it was the, uh, the dull dessert. It's a candy mango flavor. That was the first thing I, I, I taste. I was like, oh, this is mango. Very good stuff. Very refreshing as well. Definitely sugary. There's some sugar in this, uh, but you guys know how mango tastes if you ever had it. It's got also like, it's very soft. It looks like it would be really hard to eat. Like it would just be something you would suck on, but no, this is a chew. So really good stuff. I love it. There's that for you guys and uh, really good stuff. So I love it. It's really refreshing. It's good to see some fruits. It's also good to see the coffee mix. Like I think they put something that's similar to all of them into one box per month. I've noticed that. Um, so really good stuff. All right, so here we have the Gochi Gummy Kiwi. Here's what it looks like. You guys already know if you were to taste this, um, you could probably you could probably see it um, very crystally on the on the phone. Really nice. Looks looks very detailed. Um, but um, what it is, it's like uh, God. So like, if you've ever had like a gummy thing, it's got sugar all over. It's very sour, and that's kind of how a kiwi is. Um, but it's all, it's all those mixed together to make this. It's really good. I like it. If you're someone who doesn't really like sugar, this is really strong. So uh, don't uh, don't uh, try this. But kiwi, I'm a lover of kiwi. I love this stuff. This is great. Okay, even though it's a little sour, it's a little too strong. Love this stuff, and uh, it's actually really good. So mm, very good. All right, so this has to be it. If it's not, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, <laughs> but this is the Bourbon Rum Raisin Cake. Went to taste this out, I was like, yo, this definitely tastes like rum. And it's also got some raisin on here as well, and it's a cake, it's actually a really good combo. You never expect that, once you hear rum, raisin on a cake, what? No, this is actually really good. Honestly, very good stuff. You guys know how these normal cakes are. It also comes in these trays. I love when it comes in these trays. It also, in Europe, this is actually a pretty big thing with trays. Um, so it's really cool to see that. Brings back the nostalgia of being in Europe. So very good stuff coming from Japan. They've got some, some, some nice stuff going on over there. So love it. Really good stuff. Okay, so, you know, it's really cool to, like, taste something before reading it. Because, like, you wonder what it is. But, like, this one, this actually captured it really well. Hold on, so let me open this up. All right, so this thing, it's like a gummy uh, uh, look. It's also the Lote Chewing Aroma Lime in Bergamot Orange. So I definitely tasted the lime, but I also tasted the orange. So this is actually very good. Um, wow, it's actually really good, very chewy, soft. Um, it's got that lime, it's got that orange taste. That was the first thing I thought, uh, this has to be that. Or my, my, my taste buds are fucked. Um, but that's what I tasted in this one. Really good stuff. Uh, wow. Un unbelievable box so far, okay? Unbelievable box. There's still more. I might have to cut some of this out. So I might just showcase more of the items. Because we still got another box. It might be a very long video. So, really good. Oh, man. All these different types of taste, man. It's so crazy. So this is going to be the... Let me see here. The... I think it's this one. The cheese of bacon and cheese flavor. So, um, this is from the Glico Pucci or Pucci cheese. So, really good stuff. This is what it looks like. Um, it's like those, um, you guys have maybe had something like this that looks like this. Um, very, very hard to explain this. But, honestly, it's really good. Um, it's like crackers, bacon, cheese, all in one. Hmm, it's really good though. Like it.
All right, so here we have the uh, Colby potato chips. Really interesting. Definitely tastes like potato. Kind of ticked me off because it has a picture of a fish. And once I tasted the potato, went to swallow it, you could see like a fish aftertaste. Like it's not really a strong, it's like a, it, it's kind of like both, like potato and fish combined. Um, it's really weird. Huh. Who would have thought that? They would, do, they would be able to trick your, trick your senses like that. Very good. Very good stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe this one is the lower of the bunch. I'm not really a huge fan of this. But hey, it is chips. They also got a drink in here, of course. This one's an OP box, okay? This is going to be an OP box. All right, so, so I'm looking at time. It's crazy, but this is the Sakuma Drops. There you guys go. These are the drops that comes with it um, for time, constriction, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to show you guys what it is. It says this fruit juice contains. It's obviously going to have all these fruits that you guys see on the cover of this. And if you've never had drops before, what is wrong with you? You need to go and try some drops. So, But these are Sakuma, so this is going to be way different. But I will definitely let you guys know how this tastes on like Twitter or on Discord or something like that once you guys watch the video or in the comments section, I'll just post it. Uh, but this looks really good. Oh my God, this is so hot. Holy God, I think this is the uh, Notori Umaikao wasabi flavor. Oh my God, but it tastes so freaking good. This is my favorite one. <laughs> it is so good. What is this? I don't know how to explain this bready like taste. I haven't had it in a while though. I've definitely had something like it. Um, but there is that. Very good. It's got the wasabi flavor. Oh my god, this is strong. It's like a uh, kind of like a crunchy soft bread kind of thing. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, this is kicking. This is unbelievable. I love this. I love it. I love it. This is my favorite one, but there's also a Doritos bag here. So what? Either they listen to me or something like that, but we got another spicy thing. Holy God. This is the Frito-Lay Doritos hot cheese flavor. Yo. Oh my God. This is so hot. Bro, this is just kicking my senses. Oh my God. You know what's, what's funny is I have a freaking, um, uh, I'm, I'm sick right now, but this is like clearing my nose, man. Woo. This is, this powered me. Oh my God. Thank you for the box, Jesus Christ. All right, so I have no clue what this is. Um, okay, it says Glico on here. So let me look on the um, thing. Hmm, okay, I guess this is the Karu Edemame. Guessing that's the one. Um, honestly, it tastes like, I, I don't wanna say it's like, I, I, it's like, it, I can't say it's grass. It's not freaking grass. Uh, <laughs> this is, oh man. Definitely tastes like it would be like green peas, but something else. It's something else other than green peas. But it's some sort of veggie. Um, really good. It's like a, it's, it's, it's like the Pocky stuff um, in terms of crunch and stuff. Uh, very, very interesting though. This one was very interesting. So we got one more thing in the box. It's going to be very cool to look at. All right. So the last thing in the snack DX box is a Pepsi strong 5.0 GV. Very confused at this. I tried it out. Um, once I tried it, it was like very fizzy like you couldn't even hear the, hear the noises in your mouth it's like holy god what was that uh it's it, it obviously is strong as it says um i don't know if it's because of i tasted all this food but it's really tough to sense if this is sugary or not i have no idea it probably is but this is insane like this box okay this snack dx box i'm gonna say it's it's a 10 out of 10 they had everything that i liked the chips and stuff they had more than one bag of chips they had three three bags They've also had the Pocky, which who doesn't love Pocky? They had, I don't know, they had the, uh, the, uh, all these types of flavored coffees and all that kind of stuff. This is my favorite box. This is my favorite box. This is a 10 out of 10. I, I wouldn't blame it if it's not, if it's not up for sale. Like, this is unreal. So hopefully you guys can get yourself one. So let's switch it up. We're going to go with the next box. I don't know if I'm going to make a separate video or just keep it all in this video. We got the Pokemon box that we got to do in this, so... Let's see what is in the Pokemon box that is hiding right here. All right, so 
it is time. Okay, it is time. We're gonna do the special edition box. I'm gonna really be really cool with this one. So, very excited to open this one. If you guys want your own Pokemon one, make sure you guys check the link in the description. Actually, that is the box of the spe uh, Snack DX box. I've got the Pokemon right here. It's just all over. It's got wrappers and it's also got like details of my stuff. So, it's all in the box. So, I'm just gonna pull out of the box right here. The first thing that pops up. Oh man, what is this? I should have saved this for last. But uh, here we have a, what is this? I think it's a Pokemon, yeah, it's a Pokemon cup. Look at this bad boy. Yo, Charmander, Squirtle. Oh man, I don't know some of the newer ones. Uh, we got Torchic, Trico, Mudkip. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, Piplop. Cyndaquil, Chikorita. Oh man, we got the, we got an entire squad here. Pikachu, dude, this is amazing. I love this cup. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay, so that was actually really cool. So this is coming from the special edition one. We still got some more in this box. There's definitely a lot more in this box. So let's check this out. All right, so I love the design of this box. Okay, like this is actually really cool. So let me put that close up. Um, really cool design. And this is, I believe on this sheet for the special box, it says this is the Pokemon Karipori Candy. It might be this one. Um, but there's not much, this, this is not really a candy box, like, it's, it's a lot of other stuff in it, so I like it, it's got some candy, it's also got some other items, really cool, when you open it up, uh, it seems like there's all these other flavors, but, let me try to get this open, hmm, this one's definitely hard to open, um, but this is what it comes out with. And these are very, very strong, sugary. It's not really pocky. Like, this is very sticky, very crunchy. Yeah. So, it's got different flavors for each of them. Hmm. This is so good, though. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, I'm really happy with this one. This is cool. Very, it's, good. it's something new, you know? It's always something new. Uh, this is not a Snack DX box. This, I, I, I thought it was an interesting idea since I know a lot of you guys are Pokemon fans. I've got some Pokemon viewers. So I think this is something that's really interesting um, that you guys can check out. So really good. All right. Next up we have a, uh, this is going to be a magnet. I'm actually really cool about this. This is really excited about this. Pokemon Sun and Moon Soft Magnet. So exactly what came in this magnet was a legendary Yo, so you were able to get the either the three starters for the Pokemon Sun and Moon, or you're able to get two of the legendaries. And as you guys can see, this is the Sun's legendary. And, uh, you know, I just want to open this thing. Come on, get out of the box. Where are you at? My hands are so sticky from all that food. What is going on here? Dang, I can't even get this magnet out. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yo, look at this magnet, dude. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I was actually really excited. I was like, oh, maybe we're just going to get some of the starters. Uh, we won't see those legendaries. Open this bad boy up and oh, I was definitely wrong. We got a legendary. So I'm very, very excited about this one. So really, really nice. Love this magnet. So really cool legendary if you haven't tried Pokemon Sun and Moon, haven't watched the anime, or you haven't uh, played any of the games, you definitely need to. It's really fun, all that kind of stuff. So very cool magnet. Look at all the Pikachu on the thing, on the screen. Okay, I don't know what happened, but like this all came in one. It was all connected in one. I actually tried all three. They're all gone. Uh, this is actually really good. This seems like something Pikachu would eat. So, I love the design of the character as well. Really neat stuff. Um, let me open this bad boy. There we go. And then what is inside is these things. Very interesting stuff. It's a corn taste. Oh, man. It's like a corn taste soft chip. It's got the aftertaste of corn. Very crunchy. Kind of like Cheetos, but more, more so with, uh, with a corn flavor. Oh man, I love the design of it. It's got Pikachu in all different ways, like Pikachu here. Oh man, he was, he was loving it. Pikachu here, you hugging the corn. Pikachu here, hugging him more corn, eating some of that corn. Uh, and then Pikachu really happy on here. So, corn head. Um, really good. Oh man, this is so good. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Alright, couple more things, couple more things, couple more things. Look at this! This is so cool. This is a Pokemon Sun and Moon notepad, I believe. So. 
Oh, it's got all the... Yo, what is this? Oh, man, this is so cool. Oh, yo, this, is this like a coloring book? Maybe? Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, I love this. Love this. Oh, this is so cool. So, that is the Pokemon Sun and Moon thing, and I love this as well. I love the design on here. It's Pikachu's the first thing that pops up here. Um, love it. I love this. Like, this is so cool to, to see. Something new. Didn't expect this. I love the cover art uh, for this as well. And uh, very cool. So, we got one more thing in here. Where is that bad boy? So, here is... I believe it's like a collectible, and it comes with all these Pokemon. Oh man, this is a 20 minute video. I knew this was going to be long. I knew this was going to be long. And we got this guy! Okay, if anyone knows what his name is, please let me know. I'm not a legendary Pokemon guy for the newer generations. I'm more, I always like the older games. Um, but, uh, that's why, that's why when you guys see me stream or something, it's always the older games, because I'm just more familiar. I love the older games, man. I love, I love the first three gens. I love the first three gens. I know some people are like, oh, but those, but those don't have any variety. Well, it's, it, it has more variety to me. I love them. So, um, I have no idea what this is. Is this a Mimikyu or something? Maybe that's the name of this thing? I don't know. I'm just gonna take a guess. It's a Mimikyu. Um, it's like a wannabe Pikachu. So, Really cool uh, thing here. Got myself a little figurine. Honestly, I like this special box. This is actually really good. If you guys want your own May Pokemon base special box, that will also be in the description. Due to time, this is unreal. This is at the 22nd minute. It's going to end at the 22nd minute. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you guys go check out JList. The link is in the description. Thank you, JList, for sending over two boxes not just one two to showcase to my viewers really do appreciate it if you guys enjoyed the video as always do those stuff and i'll see you guys next time peace